Okay, everyone, YouTube, whatever. Another high quality ad from, you guessed it, movementsensorlife.com. If you like it in that font, even better. And don't ever forget, yes, that's right, movement sensor lights. New stuff, free stuff. Well, there could be, you never know. New and free, movement sensor lights. You got it, movementsensorlights.com. Okay, this is what's known as a walkthrough of a house or apartment in this house that is fully uh, LED lit, shall we say. Probably a little over lit because I have to test all the lights or I want to test all the lights and have done so. And so there's probably, there's no more than $200 of lights you're going to see, US dollars of lights, and yet it's probably over lit. So I'll leave it at that. They are incredibly cheap for what you get. And let's start. So you come here, now there's plenty of light, so there's no need for any lighting. However, if I turn these lights off and move, well, 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 a movement sensor light. Uh, they don't like me leaving these lights off, so we will leave them on for whatever wasted planet, uh, just, I should say, for a quick way to destroy the planet, let's just leave lights on that are unnecessarily, unnecessary at all times. And if you turn them off, as I did, neighbors complain. Can you believe that? Here we go. Come into my place. If you went into the bathroom, that would come on, followed by those and the new toilet light. Now, it's a bit of a disco in here, I agree. Uh, a little bit overdone because we're testing lights, but you could easily get all away with two of those. Um, and I would, in fact, forget the strip lights unless you've got a use for them, especially top of the wardrobe, etc. They're more drama than they were. Their battery, I'll turn on the light, you might as well then now. Their battery, and though they've got rechargeables in them, um, they're a bit dicky. And uh, as I said, if you've got a use, and they're about all you can get in good strip lights, use them, otherwise use those. We continue the walkthrough. The ones at the front door, the ones in the kitchen. Okay, this one goes off above this door, but the way they said to stick it on only works if you can stick that thing and have the door sill it sit on. That would never hold, it would just fall off if it wasn't for the door jam and it sort of uses the magnet effect and resting on the top of the door to keep it up. It's a piece of crap in other words and they're not the ones we send. Now, I did make a mistake with this positioning. In this room, okay, that works great, it comes on. There's another one of those strip lights that's uh, decided not to work. Uh, see what I mean? Uh, they're a bit dicky. But the mistake of this was, it faces the door, and if you leave the door open, as you pass this room, if it's dark, it comes on. If it's dark in there, and anyway, you don't point them at where you walk past them indoors. Um, another great thing about this is, oh, no more dark covers. Uh, they all turn into a flashlight, as you know. You can look at your, whatever you have in your wardrobe, use your clothes, and away we go. Um, continue the walkthrough. And so we're walking down here, that one, that one over there, that one. Now the two on the ceiling are classics. I think you could do two, four, six, eight, a long, a long ways and light your home very cheaply and easily. We walk outside. Now, in the past, we would leave that light, I'm not sure if you can see it, we would leave that light on. Now, three LED motion sensor activated lights go off and one of the door. Now, we go for a walk and see what happens. Oh, now this is very good for security. Anyone coming near my apartment has no idea that's sitting in a tree and wow, off it comes. Somebody is standing pretty much in front of my apartment. If you go this way, I'm not sure if I've put anything on. Uh, no, and let's go and see. Oh, there is another one in the tree. 
in as well. So if you come to my place, basically this one goes on, this one very brightly. So like, oh, this one's totally solar. Solar energy comes in the top all day and powers it all night. And it's actually, you can turn it on and off. Uh, that's how bright and gutsy this thing are. Incredible. Um, so anyway, we're going for a walk up to some apartments that have used some movement sensor lights to make it more welcoming to their apartment, shall we say. None of the others have got it, it seems, other than mine. And if you walk up to this apartment, um, let's see what happens. So you're walking up to this apartment. And there you go. A light comes on welcoming you. You can see to put your keys in, etc. I think in the future there won't be any places where you go where you're left in the dark, shall we say. Um, lights will come on um, just like they did there, um, wherever movement is detected. Now that you can power them so cheaply and, not, and get such light out of There's two apartments that welcome you with a light and none of the others do. Now, we're gonna do a walk through back the other way, as though you were coming from the pool side. Um, if you were a house, there would be the difference between coming through the back door and then the front door. We're going back and we'll see what it's like when you walk to my apartment. It used to be darkness, unless we turned on the light that we never remembered to turn off, because in the daytime, it, you can't see it, and at nighttime, it seems correct to be on. There we go. Oh, the floodlight coming to my apartment to deliver food, whatever. Knock, knock, knock. Mr. Hewitt, yes, there you go. This one obviously needs chat. There it goes. Sometimes the movement detectors are slightly delayed. We step back into my apartment. Off go the roof ones. Uh, I'm walking down. Basically, my hallway is lit. Um, if I go to the kitchen, I can do whatever in here. I've also got a light here. So, as you can see, you simply don't need, you simply just don't need mains lights like that. That sort of light, you can thread a needle. You don't, you need only that sort of amount of light to do many other things, shall we say. Um, in fact, I think it'll, it feels weird now getting out of bed and not having lights come on automatically comforting you and um, you know after a while you really like having lights where they should be and um, I'll show you what I'm and um, what else then of course we go and we have a look in, in the bedroom oh what's happening in here Oh, I see. <gasps> well, well, well. I see. So, incredible. Say there was a power blackout. Not for us. Well, thanks very much, everyone. Now, we'll walk back through. Um, and again, they're all had gone off. Um, they don't turn back on. And we can't forget, best to close the door so they don't get turned on by you walking past them. Or don't shoot, don't focus them at your door and always remember I bet you didn't remember that I would say this but don't forget buy them here we can do free velcro free free super glue free super glue what do we give free hold on do we give you anything oh yes we do super glue two pack epoxy velcro hmm what else Lots of free stuff new if you go to, and only if you go to, oh, and I forgot to mention, the new, if you deal with us, and to every customer who in fact does actually buy, you get a secret, hidden, can't find on Google, YouTube video, of the secrets that I don't want the Chinese to know. Not that um, I've heard they ever can't be trusted with, you know, your ideas or anything, just in case, um, there's a few tips on how, for example, to buy AAA rechargeable batteries that are good without having to go into ohms and amps and volts, etc. Just by looking at them, I have a uh, secret tip on how you can tell the best ones. 
and there's lots of tips like that, like how to stick anything to anything, honestly, but I don't want um, my competitors to see it. So no one sees it until they become a customer. It's new and it's free and don't forget, that's right. See you soon. Never have to be in the dark again.